Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is English for Grade Four. We are learning Unit Two. Its title is "A Promise Is a Promise." My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear children. Today, under the title of formal and lexical skill, we are going to learn about punctuation marks. In English for Grade Three, I have already taught you punctuation marks. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And we are going to learn further to recall the rules of punctuation learned earlier. This is our today's essay. Let's start with the name of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Allah mentions in Quran Surah Al Mudathir, verse one to five. Who oh, you covered up in your cloth? Arise and warn and proclaim your Lord's greatness and keep your garments pure and avoid uncleanliness. Yes, my dear children, this beautiful verse. You see how sweetly, how out of your love Allah is calling. Oh, you covered up in your clothes, and whom Allah is calling. Allah is calling our beloved Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he is saying, "Arise, get up, and warn the people, and proclaim your Lord's greatness." Yes, my dear children. So, Subhanallah, Quran is speech of Allah subhanahu wa taala, and after our beloved Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, we all are being assigned these tasks. Arise, warn people, proclaim the greatness of our Lord. This is our duty as well. And one thing which is very important: keep your garments clean and avoid uncleanliness. So, beta, we should all the time we should be careful about our dress. Our dress should be neat and clean. Why? Because we have to offer namaz five times a day. So, how can we afford unclean or dirty clothes? That's why, beta, we should avoid. Uncleanliness, and we should be very careful about our hygiene. So you see, Quran teaches us everything. So now, my dear children, I want you to focus on this punctuation mark. Do you remember we have studied about it? Okay, I'll check it. So first, you tell me what is an exclamation mark, and where do we place an exclamation mark? So pause the video. Answer these two questions to your teacher. Yes, my dear children. I hope you remember. Exclamation mark is this, and we use it to show strong emotions. Okay. So there are more punctuation marks we are going to learn about. We have already learned all these. We are just recalling. So first of them is. Let's see punctuation marks. Punctuation marks are used in writing to separate sentences and your elements to clarify meanings. So, beta, this is most important thing. Punctuation marks are used in writing because when we are speaking, our tone, our style tells what we are saying. Now, if I stop a sentence, I take a pause. It's understood. I put a full stop. But when we are writing. How to express these things? For that, we use punctuation marks. Now, see, it's my money, not yours. Okay, so I have put a comma over here, and it is telling that I'm talking about a money which is mine, not yours. And if I remove this comma from here and put it over here, now read it. It's my money, not yours. Now the meaning is totally changed. Now I'm saying it's not my money; it's yours. This is how, in writing these marks, exclamation mark, comma, and all this apostrophe, all these punctuation marks can make a meaning. And if we miss any or misplace any meaning, can be changed. That's why we should be very careful about punctuation marks in writing. Are you clear? Okay. So what these punctuation marks are? Comma, question mark, apostrophe, full stop, and 
exclamation mark. These are the punctuation marks we are going to learn about, we are going to recall about all these. So first of all is a full stop. We use a full stop at the end of a simple sentence. For example, I am a student. We are all cousins. I am your English teacher. So these are simple sentences and by putting a full stop it means the sentence is closed here. I don't want to say anything further about it. Okay. So the next is comma. We use comma to separate nouns, pronouns and adjectives in a series, in a sentence. Like if in a sentence there are three or more than three nouns, pronouns or adjectives to keep them separate. We keep putting a comma like this. Go to the market and bring carrots, potatoes and tomatoes. All these are nouns, carrots, potatoes and tomatoes. And to separate them, we have to use a comma. Okay, if the list is still going on, we'll keep putting comma and keep adding the list. All right. The next example is I, comma, my friends and their cousins are going for a picnic. You see, all the pronouns have been used. I, my friend and their cousins. We know all these are pronouns and we have separated them by putting a comma. I like this red, fresh and juicy apple. What these all three words are? They are adjectives. Good. So because they are telling us about this noun and to separate these adjectives we have put a comma. This is how we use a comma to separate a list of nouns, pronouns and adjective if they are in a sentence three or more than three, right? The next is we use a comma in short formal dialogue. Like you are writing a dialogue to and you use yes. This is a uh, like we use in dialogue, after yes, you'll put a comma and you can. Okay. Please sit down. No, you have to wait. You see, better when I say I'm giving this, no, you have to wait. Now, when I'm speaking, I'm giving a short pause, and that short pause is a comma in writing. Are you getting it? All right. The next is use of question mark. We use question mark at the end of a question, like we are inquiring or asking about something. We write it and we put the question mark. Who is your friend? I want to know who is your friend. So I put a question mark at the end of the sentence. Where is your book? Right? The next is use of exclamation mark. We use exclamation mark in sentences showing emotions. Okay? Every type of emotion, if you are happy, sad, whatever the emotion is, this exclamation mark shows it. Ah, nice dress. Like, wow, nice dress. Ah, oh, what a nice. This is how, when we say it, we show it through our words. But in writing, we put an exclamation mark to show this that we like your dress. Hurrah, I have won the match. Wow, I'm excited. So to show this excitement, we put up. We put an exclamation mark. You got it? All right. The next is apostrophe. We use an apostrophe to show possession. Like this thing belongs to this person or every possession. Ali's jacket. This apostrophe S is showing the jacket belongs to Ali. Umar's dress. This apostrophe S is showing this dress belongs to Umar and cat's tail so this tail is cat all right this is the use of apostrophe and there is another use of apostrophe when we shorten a word we use apostrophe so how do we shorten a word this is you are what do we do we omit this letter we put a apostrophe and we join these two words together to make one. This is how we can join two words by using apostrophe. This is known as shorten of a word. You are a boy. There is no difference in the meaning. This is only the writing difference. Okay. I'm 
It means I have omitted this A, put a, an apostrophe, it became I am. I'm going to bed now. Okay, we have learned all these rules. So next is activity. Are you done? Could you recall all the rules? Very good. So it's time to check whatever you have learned. What we are going to do? Teacher will divide class in five groups and will write sentence on board without capitalization and punctuation marks. Turn by turn, one student will come from each group and will rewrite this sentence on board with correct punctuations. Okay, if a punctuation mark is wrong or missed, because better for punctuation, both are mistakes. You miss any punctuation or you place it wrong, it's mistake. The group will be out of the game and teacher will continue activity till the time winner group is decided. Okay, so teachers, there are a few examples in lesson plan. You can take your own sentences, write on board a sentence and make the children to come and correct the sentence. Pause the video, enjoy this beautiful activity. Yes, my dear children, there was a tough competition. All of you are very good. So I congratulate to the winner group. Now, it's time to practice from your book. All of you settle down on your seats, open your book. What you are going to do, you will punctuate the given sentences by adding punctuation mark. These sentences are given to you without any punctuation. Read carefully wherever a punctuation mark is needed. You have to put it. Pause the video. Complete this exercise in your book. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. So it's time for your homework. You will write seven to ten sentences about your friend by using correct punctuation marks. And here is a worksheet. Again, my fellow teachers, this worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, and provide printed worksheet to students for practice. And my dear children, what you are going to do, you will read the sentences and place the correct punctuation marks. The first one has been done for you, so you have to complete rest of the sentences. So in this way, what we have learned today, we recall that we use an apostrophe to show possession. We use full stop at the end of a simple sentence. We use a question mark at the end of interrogative sentences. And we use comma to separate nouns, pronouns, and adjectives in a sentence. We also use a comma in short formal dialogue. We also recall that exclamation mark is used after a word, a group of words, or a sentence expressing strong feelings. So in this way, we achieved our SLO to recall the rules of punctuation learned earlier. Are we done with it? Yes, and we thoroughly enjoyed doing it. That's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing, take very good care of yourself and the people around you. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.